everyone welcome back to our channel go dynamic it are you ready to start the journey to recover your lost file join us as we explore the photo record data recovery software free and open source data recovery tool in this video we will be testing the photo record in two real type scenario first by recovering the file deleted with shift plus delete and second by retrieving the data from formatted disk get ready to discover how photo record can rescue a lost file and bring peace of mind so without any delay let's start the video okay so we have to go to our browser and uh, let's me open my browser here inside the browser we have to type or just search with photo record data recovery software and you can see here the first link will come this is the cg security by cg security so open this link and once you have opened the link there is an option you can see left hand side you have a test record a test disk photo record and download so just click on the download oh there is some ad so let's click once again click on the download and when you go back to the download it says that you can see here a couple of download links here so in this one it depends on the operating system so uh, if you have a 32 bit operating system go with this one and you can see here the best part is this support the windows server operating system as well yes you heard right so many of the software for windows server operating system they charge but here it's absolutely free so you can see here this is 32 bit and this is the 64 bit and uh, so let's click on 64 bit and you can see this download is started and when you go back to download folder here is the download folder folder so this is this is not installer this is the extractable file so what we will do is you don't have to install it just this is you have to extract the file so let's extract it tracking now as you can see that this is extracted now let's go back to this folder test disk and inside that you have a couple of folders so here we have a photo record windows also this is the command line so when you know when you're comfortable with the command line let me open and show it to you so when you have if you are comfortable with recovering the file with command line you can go with this but our interest of video today is to go with this photo record windows version this is the gui version let's click on this gui version and uh, once it opened you can see here um, this is the clean interface of the, your uh, software so what we will do here is first we will try to understand the, the disk first, how, from which disk and how we can include the disk in the for the recovery. So you can see here this button drop down button here. I have a disk here like pen drive here. You can see this is the, my pen drive. Um, this is called E drive and inside that I have a folder. You can see I have a couple of photos. I have one video and I have few important documents. One is Excel. Uh, another one is Word document now let's go back and select the drive so that's my e drive so let's see the physical drive you say the 15 gb pen drive let's select that and now you can see i have selected the drive in your case you just go ahead and select the drive from here in the list so you can see here this is this is the lba 30 partition type is uh, 532 uh, file system is 532 and this is 15 gb drive that's absolutely fine now if you come down you can say the file type what type of file type you have so as you can see here this is fat32 so i go ahead and select the 530 fat and fat and 532 are exactly the same there's no difference between i mean in terms of selecting this here there are the different between fat and fat32 but here we select the fat because that comes with the fab32 family itself and then when you have a when you are going with the linux operating system or if you have a disk your pen drive is formatted with either of this ext2 extension you have to select this one so now this since our so you can find it out with with the partition with the type and the file system here so you can see here it's showing the fat to me i'll select here and then as you can see the uh, right hand side tab you said the scan from unallocated space no i don't want to scan from unallocated space i want to scan from the whole partition because um, I don't know where this my uh, on, on my particular partition where this uh, uh, particular folder is there now and now it's asking about the what type of file format you want to select you can see here there are a couple of file and uh, file formats here if you know the file formats so what is the benefit of this one having this one you can maximize the speed of your recovery so when I let's say I know that what kind of file format if I have so I can just click on the reset so you can see the all are unchecked and when you come back you can see um, you have to do some r and on, on that to find it out what type of extension which you are going to recover so let's say for my example if I lost some ISO on my pen drive so I can select the ISO file here so this still will only look for the ISO extension not other one so it, it it can make your recovery faster right and again same thing you can see this is jpg if my if, if i know that i am going to only recover the jpg pictures here so just select the jpg here so it will maximize your recovery speed so since um, um let's 
with uh, we will be going with uh, complete recovery uh, complete recovery so let's select everything here click on the ok and it says that i selected the whole partition from here and then the second thing is uh, the next thing is you have to uh, uh, give the path or where it will going to recover you can see here it says that please select the destination to save the recovered file so in our case we'll click on the browse and we'll go to the c drive inside the c drive i have folder called recover and just select that now and it's ready to search the file here but we'll not search here i i uh, i told you in the intro what we will do is we'll go to the pen drive and this is our important file so what i will do is i'll just shift delete this file so i'll just click on the shift and delete and i said you want to permanently delete this folder yeah, i would say yes so now it says that permanently got deleted let me show you my recycle bin let me delete nothing is there but let me delete everything from the recycle bin all files are deleted from the recycle bin now it's time to test this open source data recovery software this is called photo record so click on the search so now it searches begin it's going to take some time and once it's done i'll come back again to this video okay so now after 15 minutes uh, this uh, software said that it's completed and it found 13 files that interesting if i remember uh, correctly uh, i had 13 to 14 files on my system so why don't we quickly go ahead and uh, see that what it has been recovered so either we can click it here c recover or we can go back to our c drive so let's go back to our C drive here. C drive recover and this has recovered all the files. That interesting. It has recovered the photos. Let's see the quality of the photo. Impressive. I am really impressive with this open source software. Recovered the files. Let's see whether it has recovered the data inside the Excel or not. It has recovered the Excel sheet, but let's open. I have few entries in the Excel sheet. So let's see. Got something for us. Allow us a moment so that software can open here. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. I cannot believe that this data recovery, this open source free data recovery software can recover the file with without any issue I'm, I'm guys really impressive about this software you can see here, let's open the doc file now i'm more excited to know about work or more on this software so you can see here when i click on the word and it's loading some file and let's see if we have some content inside that yes exactly this was the, our content in this document and the recover as it is so excellent work uh, photo record open source data recovery software let's say about the video and video is actually working exactly fine so i would give, give 100 to 100 marks in this software this open source data recovery software to recover the file i mean shift did accidentally deleted the files which we have done with the shift and delete now it's time to quit it and we have to go back e drive and now it's time to format it let's say how this software behave after formatting the drive so click on the format and quick format is selected click on the start and done so this is going to format our disk you can see the format is completed now close this one open the software once again so we have to go to our download folders and we have to go to where we have extract that and again we have to select this q photos recorder when click on the yes and again we have to select the drive as we have already discussed here this is our uh, pen drive and inside the pen drive we have to select our extension so we have a fat file here and we have to select Select the whole partition and then we have to again select the um, recovery drive so this time we'll go and select this desktop and then create a folder called recover select the folders and you can see here this says that um, this is going to recover folder now it's time to search it we are not going to select any file format because uh, we know that uh, if you want to select the file format you can go ahead and select the format which you know that your file uh, is is it will uh, maximize your uh, recovery speed but in our case we'll go ahead and select the search here let's click the here whole exact um, let's select here the whole partition i was missed that in the first case and then click on the search here now again it's going to take some time to recover the file and once it's done we'll come back again it's time to take some coffee or sandwich break okay so this software has completed the recovery and it says that um, it found 13 files and then it has uh, recovered in our destination so it says that 10 jpg 2 zip file and one mov movies file so let's quit this application close this one go back to our recovery folder and we have here and that's a great job guys you can see here this is the amazing work done by the open source data recovery software you can see it has recovered the file as it is how it was recovered from my pen drive and then you know that we have done a shift and delete uh, sorry 
we have done for we have formatted the disk to recover this this data right and this is exactly the same way how covered so i'm really impressed with this data recovery software how quick and how precisely it, it has recovered all our data that's it for today's video i think uh, if you have lost your data you can go ahead and try with this software and you can recover the software without paying any amount so that's a great work you can go ahead and test it so thank you very much for the video and if you like my effort and my time so please appreciate it subscribing my channel or sharing with your friends thank you very much for watching my video